Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome, or perhaps welcome back, to my channel. Each month, I like to stop by and revisit a past sheetload of cards for my Sheetload Rewind series. Sometimes I switch it up a little bit, sometimes I just make a new set of cards. But as always, if you are a subscriber to my channel, the printable is free for you. And I'll tell you at the end of the video how to download it. And speaking of the printable, let's go ahead and find out what month I'm rewinding back to today. For today's video, I'm going to be using the June 2022 sheetload of cards, which was a special edition double card fun fold, or you might know it as a joy fold. This printable, if you follow the sketch and supply list and cutting guides, is going to yield you six fun fold cards with just three pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper and five pieces of cardstock. If you would like to see the original June 2022 sheet load videos, I will have those linked in the description box below. If you enjoy the Rewind series, I will also have the full Rewind playlist linked right below that. Let me know down in that comment section below if you've used this edition before, or even if you've just created Joyfold cards. Let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies and then get started. This is one of the few sheet load editions where you need three coordinating pattern papers, which I'll show you those close up better here in just a minute. But since mine has kind of a sweet treat theme, I decided for my sentiment that I would use this set from Waffle Flower Crafts called Fruit Sentiments. I really like the you're so sweet, life is sweet, just to take on the ice cream cones. I also got out the coordinating dies, and to do my stamping, I chose cotton candy because I thought it went well with the blue in those ice cream cones. And speaking of ice cream cones, here is a look at the papers I'll be using today. I believe these are Stampin' Up! papers. If I have a demonstrator or a customer out there who knows the name of this line, why don't you let us know down in that comment section below. I chose the ice cream cones, and to go with that, I wanted kind of a tone on tone solid and then a simpler pattern that contained multiple colors from this original one. So what I did is I got out this kind of brown checked ones because it mimics the look of the waffle cone there. And then I chose this colorful stripe. Again, it's kind of a more plain pattern, but it is colorful and includes the colors from that ice cream sheet. Hopefully, if you have questions about how you pick out your sheet load papers, that will help you. As I get into the process, I will tell you about other products and tools that I use. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! I'm going to get started by cutting the three pattern papers per the cutting guide instruction. I'll be cutting rows from the top, two that are four inches, and one that is three inches. Now if your pattern paper has the direction, make sure you to keep that in mind for the first cut. For me, I want the stripes to go horizontal, so I rotated it 90 degrees and made those cuts. Two at four inches and one at three inches. Now there is quite a bit of scrap left over for this cutting guide or for this sheet load, so I will keep that for later to maybe decorate the inside of these cards. Now I'm going to take the rows I just cut, and the top two I cut into one piece that is four inches wide, and one piece that is five and a quarter inches wide. Again, reserving the scrap for more cards later. For the bottom piece, I'm going to cut this into two pieces that are four inches wide. Here is a look at all the pieces you'll get from one sheet of paper. Now I'm not going to cut the other two on camera. If you want to check out the description box for the original process video, you can see me cut more pieces. Like I mentioned before, this is a fun fold card edition, and this is like two cards in one. So now I'm going to cut down my card stock. It's three sheets of white for me for the outermost card, the largest one. Now this cutting guide originally has you cut your sentiment piece from this as well, but I'm going to be doing something different, so I'll just keep these white scraps. 
I start by cutting each sheet in half to four and a quarter inches wide, and then I trim these down to nine and three quarters inches wide. Now later we will score and fold these, but for now I'm just gonna continue to cut the rest of the CS1 pieces. Next up, I needed two more sheets of white cardstock, and this is for the smaller cards, the CS2. I'm going to cut each of these into three rows that are three and a quarter inches tall. Once all of the white cardstock was cut, it was time to turn those into card bases. So I brought in my mini score bunny, and I'm going to start with the larger piece, CS1A, and I'm going to score it four and a quarter inches from the left. You could also score five and a half inches. You'll just rotate your card later on. But you'll see once it's scored and folded, there's a little area on the front where you see the inside of the card. For the CS2 pieces, they're scored right in half at four and a quarter inches. And again, once you score and fold these, you have a little card base. This one though, it doesn't have an area where you can see the inside. It is completely folded in half. You'll see here how these two pieces go together. They kind of open into each other. It is a quick and easy fun fold, definitely one of my favorites. I continued scoring and folding each of these pieces, most of which I did off camera. Once all of the cutting and scoring was done, I brought back in my pattern paper pieces and now I'm going to make little card kits. And this is just to ensure I have a piece for each of my cards later and none of the patterns repeat on a card front. The first card I'm going to take an ice cream cone, then a stripe, and then a waffle cone pattern. Now for the second card, so they look a little bit different, I'm still going to grab the ice cream cone, but then I'm going to skip to the waffle cone pattern for the square and pick up a stripe for the final one. You'll see here these both have the same background paper, but the fronts will look different. Now you could definitely repeat the pattern if you want, that's up to you. I just wanted a little more variety. I'm going to go ahead and let you see me putting together the rest of the card kits here, but I'll just turn on some music. And now it's time to get those pattern paper pieces put on the card bases. So I'm gonna grab one of my card kits and I'm gonna take that largest piece of pattern paper and put it on the inside center of the larger card base, just trying to get a nice even border all the way around. Then I'm gonna take the smaller card and the little rectangle piece and put that on the front center. Again, making sure to get a nice even border. Now one thing you'll want to keep in mind for this is that the fold on the smaller card should be on the right. Normally you would kind of think about it being on the left. Just make sure when you put them together that they open up correctly into each other. Finally for the pattern paper, I'm going to put the square on the front of the larger card. Then to finish putting the card base together, I bring back in the smaller card add adhesive to the back, and then I center that on the inside of the waffle cone pattern paper. Just trying to get even borders. They aren't even all the way around. The top is a little bit smaller than the sides, but just do your best to get it centered. And here's a close-up look at one of those cards, all made. Now for the second one, I'm gonna do basically the same thing, except this time I'm gonna add both of the pattern papers to the big card base instead of switching between the two, and then add the pattern paper to the front of the little one. I just repeated this same pattern until all, what is it, six card bases were ready to go. Now all the cards need are some decorating, so I'm going to get started by stamping the sentiments, which I decided to go with the You're So Sweet for all six. I will be stamping this in cotton candy ink and using my Misty so I can set the stamp up once and then repeat it. I did pre-cut two pieces of white cardstock. I think they were five and a quarter inches square, and I'm going to start by putting the stamp in the lower right hand corner. I want to make sure that I get it set up so there's enough room around it to use the die later. 
Once I got it stamped to move on to the remaining ones, all I needed to do was rotate my piece of cardstock 90 degrees. Now I did end up stamping 8 total sentiments, and that's just so when I die cut them later, if I have some that look better than others, I just need to end up with 6 total. I finished stamping those, and then I brought in that coordinating die and took it off screen to die cut. Also while I was off camera, I went ahead and picked out the 6 I liked, and I added some foam tape to the back for a little added dimension. To get this put on the card, I pulled the release tape, and then I kind of played around a little bit with the placement. You could definitely change this up, and I decided in the lower left hand corner of that smaller card. I finished adding sentiments to each of the fronts, again most of this I did off camera, and then I wanted to finish the cards off by adding a little bit of shine. So I brought in some small kind of iridescent sequins, I like how they pick up whatever color is around them, and to get these put on the card fronts I'm using some leftover mini glue dots from past paper pumpkin kits. I added three of the glue dots to the card front, kind of keeping them in a triangle around the sentiment just to keep the focus on the You're So Sweet. Then I picked up the sequins with my rainbow jewel picker and placed one on each of the glue dots. I love the little bit of shine that these add to the card front. I finished adding the rest of the sparkle off camera and here are some close up looks at the finished cards. I hope you enjoyed this little rewind and seeing how I made these six sweet joyfold cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now let me tell you how you can download the free printable. As always, I do ask that you're subscribed to my channel before you click on the download link, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a minute. We do just go on the honor system here. I don't make you send me any proof. So please make sure you've clicked on that subscribe button before you click on the download link. You're going to find the PDF link down in the description box all the way at the bottom. Below the link it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is your password. You can open the file and just use it from screen, or you can download it to your device and print it. That is totally up to you. Thank you so much for being here today. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.